Hey guys, Jackie here. I just wanted to run through unit two real quick and give you some tips and tricks that might make the week go a little bit easier. So the first thing I wanted to take note of was that this unit is just one week, so it's gonna go by really fast. Which brings me to my second point. Uh, as Jeff mentioned last week in an announcement, it's really important to have a look at those review questions, even though they're sort of at the bottom of the list of assignments. It's good to look at those at the beginning of the week. They're not multiple choice quizzes. They're really meant for you to um, examine the concepts that you're learning about and internalize those and really put them into your own personal context. So having a look at those early in the week will give you an idea of about how long they will take. Now, none of them should take longer than the amount of time you have in the unit. And this being a week's unit, there's only three items in there. The last one it has multiple parts. So this unit focuses on advocacy and ethics, as the title would indicate. So I'm just gonna minimize this real quick and let's have a look at the unit itself. So if you go through, it looks like our first unit. Um, this week, you're going to interact with Juan and Isabel and you'll have an ethics discussion about advocacy and how we grow as personal advocates. So we're gonna talk about advocacy here on the micro, meso, and macro levels. We're gonna talk about a client's right to self-determination. We're gonna talk about personal bias. A lot of these concepts you're gonna apply throughout the course, but here's where we're gonna get a start. We're gonna talk about establishing boundaries, conflict mediation, and confidentiality, which is super huge for social workers. And then we're gonna talk about uh, social media, and you're gonna have a look at your own social media, presence out there in the world and see if you can spot any things that you might want to address as you move forward in your career in the helping professions. So that's basically what you're in for for this week, guys. Make sure you go through each of the pages here and read through the material and be familiar with that NASW code of ethics because that's really at the heart of this unit and really at the heart of the profession. So we'll spend a lot of time getting to know what those professional standards establish for social work. Have a great week guys.